All right. Is this thing on? Okay. How about that? Appear to be streaming. That's good news. Um, so anyway, so we had a bit of a mix up earlier. I um, was all ready to stream uh, a uh, rather impromptu update, uh, but um, I had forgotten that I totally uh, uh, reinstalled Windows and had not gotten my streaming software um, installed. And so it was too late to get it working. And then when I did get it working, the um, stream was screwed up, probably because everybody, all the kids in the house were on Zoom at once. But uh, it's been a while since I've seen you, so I thought I would give you a bit of an update. We've had some exciting things happen this um, past uh, several weeks. Um, First one I wanted to mention was the one that uh, if you've been paying attention to our Twitter uh, and you've been paying attention to our Telegram channel, which I urge you to join our um, officially endorsed Telegram channel, um, you'll know that we uh, recently inked a deal with um, a company called Indigenous AI. And that company is very interesting, founded by a gentleman I've been talking with for three years since just about after, right, right about after we started, um, who has a company called True Genomics in um, the United States. Um, his uh, company uh, does um, genomic testing for uh, PTSD, um, and uh, it's been a rather successful company, and he's done very well. And he wanted to start a, um, a genomic testing company in Africa. So uh, as it turns out, our interests and our, um, our involvement with other companies uh, converged. Um, uh, and uh, now we're able to work together. And Indigenous has access. Uh, uh, they're basically going to be a, a clinical research organization running research uh, projects um, in Africa, in Kenya specifically, um, for now. Uh, and um, he wanted to be sure that his, his users have access uh, to uh, the gene chain uh, because he, like us, uh, believes that people should be able to have control of and monetize their genomic data. Uh, so um, indigenous, and AI, a, indigenous AI and, and encryption have signed an MOU in which uh, the first uh, 19,000 uh, samples that he's already got lined up for this first study, uh, once they're processed, are going to um, those those users are going to have access to the gene chain. Uh, so that's a significant number of uh, of uh, users right there, um, and we're excited to see that move forward. Uh, indigenous AI is now ramping up its testing capacity in Kenya. That means they're still setting up their lab for testing. They're uh, developing relationships. Uh, with universities and others who who will help them with that, um, but it's it's you know just a matter of time until uh, those people, those users, those samples uh, find their way onto the gene chain um, and uh, you know help us to create a useful data set uh, for science. And that's that's where we'll, uh, that's that's the name of the game for our platform is getting a significant number of users on the platform signed up uploading their data, um, setting a price, and making it available for uh, science. Uh, and so having partnership deals like that and others that we're talking about are going to go a long way towards getting us that user base. Um, the, um, the other thing that we're trying to do to get users is we're doing a, uh, <clears throat> a fundraise. Um, uh, many of you are already aware uh, that we have a STO, a security token offering that's being run through the Coin Metro platform, where DNA is also being traded now around the world. It's accessible throughout the world on Coin Metro. Um, but uh, they're also hosting our STO offering. The STO offering is intended for us to be able to raise capital uh, that enables us to gain users through direct advertising. So we know how to gain users through direct advertising. We've done some experiments. Uh, with that, using um, uh, Google Ads, AdSense, um, and it's a little costly right now, but we think we can get that, that get that price down. Um, the uh, the target we made for the SDO was 1.5 million dollars. Um, we are not 
close to that yet. Um, you can find the link for the STO. I'll, I'll put the, the link right here. Um, it's available throughout the world, as I said. Um, the goal of that STO is to be, enable us to, to do more direct advertising to get more users. So, so we're, you know, we've been plateaued in more or less 1,500 users, a little more than that uh, for a while because we haven't been, we haven't been advertising for them. Um, but every dollar we get through the SDO will ha help us to to get more users on the platform. In order for us to be a scientifically viable product, for scientists to, to be able to usefully search uh, for data that they can use in science, uh, we, we need about 10,000 users for that. To be a profitable platform, we need 50,000 users. So we're attacking this from two ends. One is to gain users uh, through partnerships, and the other is to gain it through direct advertising. Uh, the other part of that story is going to come after we have a useful number of data sets, about 10,000, and we can start to approach researchers um, and sell this as a mechanism for them to be able to look for data that they can use in their studies. Uh, so, so that's where we are. That's what we're up to. Um, last time I saw you, it was uh, before our token swap. Um, that went very successfully. Uh, we're quite pleased with the service we got from Parsec and from Coin Metro in being able to conduct that token swap. Um, uh, people are generally quite happy with how it turned out. Uh, uh, if you you should already have your new token available in your Ethereum wallet, uh, you need to add the contract address, um, and uh, it'll show up. You can find all that information on our Telegram channels. There's pinned messages there. Um, it's the um, officially endorsed Telegram channel that'll have that information, um, as well um, on our website. Now, the website is uh, uh, just today. Uh, uh, you'll notice that it's undergone some renovations. Um, we've uh, tried to make it a little more simple and straightforward. We've made it mobile friendly. We were getting some people complaining that the video uh, um, uh, embed wasn't working on mobile devices. And although <clears throat> the site isn't really meant for mobile use, um, it's now um, mobile friendly. And, and uh, I think you'll see that uh, it's a lot easier to, um, uh, to access it on your mobile devices. Um, uh, so where we stand on the SEO, by the way, is that we have just about 100,000 euros raised. Um, and we've done a couple of flash sales. Uh, these flash sales have given DNA um, uh, perks for various levels of investment. Um, the, uh, my next flash sale, I will, uh, uh, I will announce it once we reach 100,000 euros. Now we're at 98,646,000, 98, 98,646.88 euros. That's, um, uh, you know, that's a, not a bad amount of money uh, that will help us to gain users. Um, but we really want to ramp this up. We have 10 days left in the STL. As I said, every time we, we uh, gain more um, investment through that, uh, we get the ability to get more users. So for instance, if we have 100,000 euros and we can bring the cost of acquisition down to 10, 10 euros per user, then we'll be able to get 10,000 users. Um, but maybe we can get that cost of acquisition down. Uh, maybe we can raise more money and get even more. Uh, so 10 days left, there'll be some more flash sales. And once we get to 100,000 euros, I will announce the next uh, flash sale, and I put the link for that STO in the in the um, chat. All right, another thing I wanted to tell you about is an exciting um, thing uh, that we are uh, going to undertake starting next week. Um, one of the, um, the we're always trying to make uh, um, genomics interesting and more useful, so the science is is really central to that. Um, and there's lots of analytics out there where you can get information about what your genetics means. Uh, you can find out what that, you know, your, uh, you know, the ethnic groups 
uh, you may have in your background, you can find out about your predilections for cilantro and other things like that. But um, you know, one of the things we haven't seen uh, is something we're experimenting with, and it's uh, genetically informed art. So, you know, most of our genomes are largely the same, but in most of the direct-to-consumer uh, genetic tests, that's where all the variability in your genomics is. So, and it's a lot of data, actually. It's 600,000 um, data points. Well, 600,000 fields, and, and each of those has several data points, including position of the, on the chromosome, the chromosome, um, and the genotype, which is the, you know, the, the um, uh, pair of the base pairs. So if you were to, for instance, if you've already downloaded your data and uploaded it to the gene chain, open that text file, take a look at it, and you'll see there's a lot of information in there. Well, I thought it would be cool uh, to be able to make your own piece of art based upon your genotype. Um, and, and we've, I've got, I, I have mine ready to show you all. Um, uh, I will, um, next week I will show it all in a tweet or something like that. If you go to Telegram, you'll see a little preview of it. It's my avatar now. Um, and we've tested this with both mine and Vanessa's and you know, Dr. Gonzalez, my co-founder and partner, um, her, her data and and uh, we now know we have a, um, a method. We've been working with an artist who's really great. He's on Twitter. He's connected to us on, on Twitter. You can find him. He's Michael Connolly. I'm always liking his stuff on there. He's uh, done some really interesting data-fed um, art. And, and I approached him with this you know, problem of creating unique art based upon your unique genomic data file. And he's come up with a really cool um, method of doing this. And it's something we want to be able to offer as a product on the, on the website, something truly unique. You can even order physical copies and put it on your wall. In my case, I'm using it as my Telegram avatar. I'll start to use it elsewhere and really um, kind of show it off. Um, and everyone is going to look unique um, because he's also got it so that the um, the data informs the palette. And no two palettes are going to be the same. No two um, uh, versions of that art are going to be the same, and it will really be unique. Uh, there are other useful impl uh, implications for, for that kind of um, uh, technology, uh, that kind of approach, including unique identifiers that are not QRs, but other sorts of uh, um, more aesthetically pleasing unique identifiers. And it, really can't be reverse engineered as long as we keep close to our chest the, the methods in which we have, you know, develop the palette and the, and the, um, uh, the shading, et cetera. So I'm excited to be able to show you my um, uh, artwork based on my genotype, it derived directly from it, actually not even based on it. Um, and we're going to try to auction it off uh, as a promotional um, as a promotional uh, uh, tool um, using one of the NFT platforms. So last week we auctioned off successfully some of our um, uh, tokens. You know, these are collector's items from our Festival of Genomics um, appearance in uh, January of 2018. So we created NFTs that are tied to the physical tokens. And we sold four of those. Four people are going to be getting those in the mail. Uh, they bought the NFT and they bought the token with it. Um, and I'll be mailing them their tokens. If anyone else wants to have access to them, I still have uh, about half a dozen of those. Um, those are rare collector items now, actual um, uh, physical versions, that is. So um, Let's see, are there any questions? You can drop questions in the chat. Uh, I think I've brought you up to speed with uh, things. The major points are the website um, update, the um, ongoing STO. Uh, we want to get over that six-figure transom on the STO so I can announce the, the next and maybe final flash sale for that. Our last flash sale saw so us make 30,000 euros in, in, a, in a day. So that was uh, very successful. We'd like to 
recapitulate that success with the next one, uh, but we're only going to do it once we get to six figures, euros, in um, uh, the ongoing um, STL. Uh, I put the link for that in the in the chat. So any questions? How is everybody? How are you managing? Well, we're, I think the, the toughest days of uh, um, 2020 are past. Um, our family did get uh, sick in October, but everybody is fine now. It was a lengthy recovery for me, um, but I'm back and at it and raring to go. And I think uh, we got so many exciting things in the hopper um, uh, uh, that uh, 2021 is going to be a, a really breakthrough year for us. So um, my my feeling is we're going to get at least 10,000 users this year by hook or by crook. Um, certainly, um, it, once uh, indigenous AI ramps up, ramps up its testing uh, capacity, um, then uh, we'll get the we'll start getting those users. So the 19,000 that they they've got the samples for already. Um, and uh, in in the case of uh, um, uh, our STO, we've got uh, money now uh, in the bank, basically, that we can start to gain users through direct advertising. So, yeah, so somebody asks in the question, hi there, regarding encryption, I'm wondering whether a customer user of the platform is able to get the legal rights to own to their own DNA profile. I'm, best, I'm guessing this is Dan. Hey, Dan, how you doing? Um, anyway, no, there's no way anybody can own their genomic data. Um, there are platforms that um, suggest that they give you the mechanism to own it. Um, but you, know, you can tell people that. But if you don't have the law behind you uh, that uh, supports a claim to own your DNA, then you're just uh, fooling people. And that's not what we do. What we have created is a platform where people are able to remarket their genomic data in a safe and de-identified way uh, to get paid for its use and make sure that it's available for science. Uh, if you check out the new website, you'll see our, uh, our, our overarching concern and our interest is to make sure that there is significant data available for scientists. And that's exactly what we do. So um, right now, that data is monopolized by 23andMe, um, by um, uh, Ancestry.com. And if you look at what's been happening this past year, um, <clears throat> Blacks, uh, you know, there have been significant investments by Wall Street uh, to own that data. So there's 50 million people out there that have, that have been tested. And this past year, not only is 23andMe me announcing a SPAC where they're going to go public so they can raise more money um, so they can uh, because they they're still not turning a profit um, and get more people tested um, but ancestry was recently bought um, i think it was by a blackst blackstone anyway somebody can correct me um, for four billion dollars and the SPAC that 23andme is going to do is four billion dollars so that's their valuation. Wall Street is eating up all of that data. Wall Street uh, knows that the value of that data is huge. That's why they're doing these investments. Our goal is to democratize this process, to make sure that you, as, a, as an individual, are brought into that revenue stream with control and with profit. And that's exactly what our platform does. So I, I hope, um, I hope that you'll agree with us that it's incumbent upon us to prevent the monopolization that Wall Street is now undertaking with our genomic data, and open that up for everybody's involvement. So anybody who's done those tests, all the 50 million people who've done that those that testing, um, now valued at eight. 8 billion by Wall Street, have access to the revenue that Wall Street is seeking to monopolize from that data. So you'll see front and center on our new website, it says, um, you know, monopoly versus democracy. And our, our approach is democratic. 
And that's exactly what we, we do. Now, I do think it would be fruitful to, and to try to get some sort of legal system to recognize your ownership rights in genomic data. That would be useful um, because right now there is no legal way to claim ownership of genomic data. Um, in fact, there's, there are very few types of data which you can own at all because the only ownership scheme for data at all is copyright or patent. And in order to get that, you have to be the author, you have to be the inventor, but you're not for your genomic data. And, and that's what, why, you know, um, apart from our attempt to try to democratize the ability to sell de-identified data, uh, we are interested in, and I am personally involved in um, academic work uh, that argues for new ways uh, to be able to own that sort of data. So, I mean, I, so, you know, I wrote a book a while back on the subject of gene patents, and I have a real um, philosophical and ethical interest in making sure people uh, can, ha can have some sort of claim to that data. Technology helps, but it doesn't solve the problem. Uh, so that's the next stage. In the meantime, we think it's really important for people to have access to the value of that data. We're all sitting on capital, essentially. You know, the capital um, that we have in our genes. Everybody here, of course, it's, there's always a doorbell or something during one of these live streams. Anyway, um, so uh, any other questions? Thank you for that question. I think I went off on a, on a rant. No other questions. All right. Well, again, check out the STO. Um, see if uh, uh, you can help us meet that threshold so I can announce the final flash sale. Um, and uh, also uh, check out the website. It's gone through some redesigning. Interested in your comments and your feedback. Um, and uh, let's see, I think that covers our bases. And I'm always happy to see you guys. Uh, some people have suggested I do more of these more often. We'll see if there's interest in that. Um, you know, I'm only, I, I don't, I, okay, how do we come up with the idea for encryption? Okay. Thank you for that question. Um, I've, I've talked about this a number of times. I, I did this in uh, uh, the um, AMA I did with uh, Kevin Merco of Coin Metro. Um, the short story is this: I'm a, a philosopher and a lawyer. I've written a, a, an, a, about ethics and technology for more than 20 years. Um, my uh, spouse, uh, Dr. Vanessa Gonzalez, is also our co-founder. Uh, she is a gen genomic scientist. Um, We've been collaborating on scientific academic papers about ethics and genomic data for quite some time. Um, after the Myriad case uh, in the US made it impossible to patent genes, we realized that there was a, a gap in um, the, that, that created a question about where we're going to be able to incentivize uh, genomic data uh, getting gathered and used for science. So. That's where we came up with it. So in September of 2016, I gave a talk at um, uh, a bioinformatics uh, lab in, um, at the University of Buffalo, which is I'm affiliated with as a research um, professor, and I'm also an alum. So uh, at, at that talk, I, I explained that, that idea. Um, and then um, I I, I realized, uh, you know, that there was a product that we could probably make, and and uh, got to work on on trying to trying to build it. So that's how we came up with it. Thanks for that question. Um, thanks for the comment about the website. I think it's a significant improvement. Um, we're going to continue to refine it. We're always interested in your feedback, and uh, always, uh, you know, all constructive criticism is always welcome. I do hope you'll join us in our um, officially endorsed Telegram chat. I'm going to put that in the uh, comments here. Um, so it's not our official channel, 
uh, but it is the officially endorsed Telegram chat. Um, so I'll be there. You can always ask me questions. I'm in there frequently. Um, and uh, you know, we hope to see you all there. And there, we also do some special announcements. All the flash sale announcements have been exclusively there first. Uh, so so I'll, I, I try to focus all our exclusive and you know in, interesting, important, upcoming um, announcements to that channel first. Um, follow us also on Twitter. Um, if you're not already, uh, I, that's probably the second most important way to get breaking news about what we're up to. All right, any other questions before we sign off for now? Feel free to drop more questions in the comments. I'll check back on the uh, the link uh, throughout the day and and try to respond to any any other questions and any, uh, our comments that that are raised. All right. Thank you again. It's been great to talk to you again. And I think, uh, I hope you're as, as excited as I am about 2021. Take care.